Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh, this time next week, I will officially be 27 years old. And you know what? I am so ready for it. For some reason, I am so ready to be 27. Like the number 27 feels right for my age. But you know what I'm not ready for? I decided that I was going to have a birthday party next Saturday and I am so not ready for it in the slightest. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Today, we're going to buy all the stuff to make the cake. This is the cake inspo and Cal and I have decided that we're going to try and make it ourselves but we want to make a test cake <laughs> because there's just no way that we're going to try and make this on the day. Imagine if it goes wrong. Like it would be so embarrassing. For context it's Monday by the way. I don't think I told you but it's Monday the 17th and I'm having my birthday party on Saturday the 22nd. Oh my god I didn't even tell you like what's happening for the party. I literally just turned the camera on and started vlogging and really didn't prep for this but I have invited I think it's five of my friends to have a picnic in the Carlton Gardens. But it's not just gonna be a picnic. I'm going to get some canvases and paint so that we can do some painting. I wanna get some board games or like card games so there's something else that we can do. I don't know, I just want a really fun, wholesome afternoon just hanging out in the Carlton Gardens. It is low-key gonna rain. It does say 70% chance of no, oh wait, no, 75% chance of at least one millimeter. But that's still 25% chance that there'll be no rain. So the plan for now is to have the picnic in the Carlton Gardens and then we're going to go to a couple of bars afterwards so that's what's happening on Saturday but today we're gonna try and make the trial cake or at least get the ingredients for it I got the cutest birthday dress from Princess Polly I need to show you this is the dress how stunning is it but it doesn't sit exactly how I like it it kind of is a little bit too big around the arms so I found this alteration place in Melbourne Central that I'm gonna take it to so I need to take the dress to get altered today and then I also want to go to Kmart and get the canvases and the paint and also the picnic set because I found the cutest picnic set literally a year ago in Kmart and it's still there so I'm like okay I think it's a sign but welcome to the vlog if you are new here or if you're not new here and you haven't subscribed you should have definitely subscribed because we're basically best friends at this point but let's get going because it is 12 22 p.m. and we have a lot of stuff to get done not only today but before Saturday We're in the party section at Kmart. I don't think we actually need anything from the section, but you just never know. This is so cute. I feel like this could be perfect for snacks. And this, is this too extra though? I feel like I need this. Wait, I feel like this would be the moment, but then I couldn't use them again until I was 72. These canvases come in a pack of three, so we're gonna get two of them. These are so extra, I need them. You only turned 27 once. We can turn this into drinking Uno. I feel like that'll be really fun. A need, not a want. Like, look how cute it is. She's $30, but I think she's worth it. Do you think it's worth it? I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, guys, it is Thursday morning. The party is on Saturday. What's with my voice? <clears throat> Sounding all croaky. I literally had a blood nose this morning for like half an hour or something. TMI. Anyway, I'm just about to go to work, but I have a lash appointment straight after work. More like an hour and a half after work. So I thought I would show you my lashes beforehand. Honestly, they're not too bad, but there's definitely some gaps in there that just, they don't need to exist. So I'm very excited to get them done. Also, my skin is breaking out. Like, dude, what the hell? Anyway, we'll deal with that later. Maybe we'll do like a face mask or something, but I'm very excited to get these lashes done. Okay, guys, it is Friday night, 6 p.m. Damn, the echo in this bathroom right now is so hectic. But it is 6 p.m. That means it is literally less than 24 hours till this party. Why is there so much everywhere in this cupboard? I'm trying to make like a little tripod. I don't think this is straight, but it's just gonna have to do. I also don't have my contacts in because I wore my glasses to work today. So I can't see you. Hopefully you can see me. Hopefully there's no like nips showing or something. But I just took a shower. I got home from work probably like 30 minutes ago. I exfoliated and I wet my hair because I want to do an Olaplex hair mask. Do you know what else I really want to do tonight? I'm gonna tell you this while I'm like putting this mask in because I literally have no time. Like I have so many things to do tonight. Of course the hair tie I need is like underneath the camera. Classic. Oh, also, I got my lashes done, but they're low-key wet right now, so they probably look absolutely awful. But trust me, they look good when, you know, they're dry or whatever. But I couldn't get a hair appointment before my party, so I've decided I'm going to try and cut my hair extensions. Because, dude, they are just way too long. But I feel like having long blonde hair, one, is just the ultimate move, like it's such a sleigh. But also maybe it will help take the attention away from the regrowth, because I feel like when my hair's short, you can, like, see the regrowth more. Maybe it's just amazing. Oh, my God. Oh wait, no, it's okay. I was gonna say I need to tone my hair, but I need to do that when I wash this out. I am all over the place. 
Did you just see that? It's dripped everywhere. I'm seriously having such a week, but it's gonna be fine. So yeah, I'm gonna try and cut my hair extensions tonight. Last time, Kel cut them, like my old ones, and he did such a good job, so I'm really hoping that he will help me again. You can probably hear me saying this, and it's probably like, why do we have to do this? But the ones that I have are just far too long. Like, they're just too long. It's too much. Anyway, let me tell you my to-do list before I get too overwhelmed and one, forget it, or two, forget to tell you. So I'm gonna put this hair mask in my hair, which I'm already doing. We can, like, take it off. I need to put on my fake tan, make my birthday cake. Dude, I still don't know what to write on my birthday cake. I want to write something, like, iconic on it. I don't want it to just say happy birthday. I kind of want to do something to do with the 27 Club, but I'm like, is that too morbid? That's the oven preheating because we need to make the cake. And then I think that's it. Oh, I need to make a playlist for tomorrow. Oh, guys, I think I told you earlier in the week, but the weather's going to be so bad tomorrow. So we're definitely just going to be having the party here. But I want to make a playlist so that I don't have to, like, keep changing songs or, like, adding songs to the queue, you know what I mean? And then tomorrow, I have to pick up my dress. Cal ordered me some big 2-7 balloons. I'm so excited about it. So we have to pick those up tomorrow. And then we also need to go and get all of the food for the party as well. So I think I'm going to make a list tonight that way I can just like go first thing in the morning but that is the plan so I'm gonna brush this hair mask through just to make sure it's touched like every single strand because dude my hair is so bad at the moment health wise like I have not been taking care of it very well but it's fine. So I'm gonna brush this through, then I'm gonna put my fake tan on. The tan that I use is the Latan Stay Ash Base. They changed the bottle and I feel like I can't read this. Latan Uber Stay Ash Base Tan. This is it, it is very good. Okay, so this is the cake mix that we are using. We have three of them because Cal made a test cake and it only rises like this much because there's no gluten in it and I really want a big cake. But we have tried the cake mix and it tastes so good. <laughs> I am marinating in fake tan right now so I do not look my best but we're gonna make these cakes. We're just gonna make one and then just do some stuff and then keep making the other two, you know, the vibes. Why is this one focused? It keeps focusing like up here. I'm like, hello, are we being haunted? But let's get started. Step one, preheat oven to 160 degrees. Step two, grease and flour a 20 centimeter cake pan. Oh, the oven looks so clean. Everything's fogged up. It's done. Ow. Okay, I think I just want to go like snip and cut this much. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. I feel like <laughs> this isn't even that much. <laughs> Perfect. Wait, slay. Why is it actually so good? I love current mood. Welcome to Cal's salon and bakery. <laughs> We've got your cake cooking on the left, and you've got your sweet trims on the right. <laughs> That's how they do it in the business. It's the kitchen scissors for me. No, it's the hair being jammed into one of the drawers for me. That'll be $130. <laughs> okay, so all three cakes have been baked. Now we're going to decorate it. So we're going to put a layer of jam and cream in between each cake. And then we have this vanilla frosting that we're going to put on the outside. But we're going to mix some pink food coloring in it first because obviously I want it to be pink. Oh, and we have sprinkles as well. I'm very excited. I think I want to put them around the outside but Kel also got this piping set from Big W. So there's a bunch of different utensils and we want to try and do this around the cake. I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm not sure if this is it. Like it's not bad, but I, I kind of thought the same we thing. Can get more cream. I thought cream was going to go all out the edges as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so everything kind of just went wrong. When I say we made a trial cake, we only made the cake mix, like out of the box. We didn't actually make like the layers in between the cake. Basically, I don't know why the f we thought whipped cream would be a good idea to layer the cake with. Because as soon as we put the whipped cream on, it started like melting. And then we had all three layers and the cream was just melting everywhere. We're like, what the f this is not gonna work out. Like how are we even gonna decorate around this? We put it in the fridge and then took it back out. And then guess what we had to do? We literally had to scrape off all the jam and cream with paper towel like look at the bin like what the f so now we are going to use this vanilla frosting in between the layers and hopefully that works and then we still have the backup frosting from the uh egg mix to yeah the outside so <laughs> wish us luck it's literally 10 40 p.m the night before the party and this is where we're at 10 40 p.m the night before the party <laughs> 
This is already looking like such a better consistency. I wonder if it's because it's like, you know, being used for its eternal purpose. It could be. I'm not sure though. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> it's broken. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we just fill it with frosting? Why does it look like some rank ass pancakes that you would get in America? <laughs> what giant crack in the cake? <laughs> there was never ever a crack in the cake there. We definitely didn't just use frosting to fill it in. Live, laugh, love, learn. Sprinkles. Oh no, stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. Guys, it is party day. It is like 10 past 8. The weather is so bad. It's so bad. Look at this. It has been raining all night. There was also thunderstorms last night as well. Slay. So safe to say we are not having a picnic in the Carlton Gardens today. We are just going to do the picnic here. I really need to like set up the apartment. But first, I'm going to go get some food for the party because we don't have any food. So can't wait to go out in the rain and get the food. But it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm so tired. I'm literally dead. But let's get this bread. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm just really tired. The weather doesn't even matter. Grocery shop check. We got the goods. I look um <laughs> I look like a duck with a little hat, like slay. <laughs> okay, Cal went and picked up the big 2-7 balloons. Also, my sister has been blowing up all these balloons here as well. Time for the big reveal. Oh my gosh. Happy 7th birthday. Oh my god, 7 years old. Happy 72. Oh my gosh, they're so big. I love them. I love them so much. Okay, so this is the cake so far. We're about to finish it. So Cal drew this up this morning. It says 27, but still hot as f I think it's perfect for the cake. So we're making up some icing now. Cal's gonna write it on the cake. And then I think we're gonna do these little like, I don't even know what you call them, but little blobs around the edge. Twisty blobs. Twisty blobs. Cal's gonna figure it out. I'm leaving it in his hands. I really need to start getting ready because it's like quarter past 12 now and everyone's coming around like two-ish, but I wanna have some time to like take photos and just chill. I also need to set up all of the food. So I'm gonna leave the cake in your hands, Cal. It's gonna be good. Let's start getting ready. Okay, time to do my hair and makeup. I just straightened my hair because it was literally a massive frizz ball. But for my makeup, I'm gonna do the same makeup that I do basically every single day because I have one look and one look only. But I did get some new makeup. Well, I didn't actually like get new makeup. I got new testers. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in Medium. It's a little tester that I got from Becca. The lady was so nice. She's like, yeah, this product is sold out everywhere, but you can take this tester. And then I have the NARS foundation too. I have the sheer glow and the light reflecting. I actually think the sheer glow might be out. Yeah, there's not much left in that tester. So, I mean, the makeup's a little bit different. Like, it's new products. So, let's do this. It is 12.28. I really wanted to be ready by 1 p.m. because people are coming at 2 and I wanted to take photos, but it's fine. Wait, isn't there a saying where it's like the party's always late or something? Like the queen arrives? Well, <laughs> she won't be. Because <laughs> I won't be ready. I think it, the party doesn't start till I walk in. No, that's Kesha. Oh, the queen is never late. Everyone else is early. I think that's the saying. So, hee <laughs> hee. Me justifying everybody coming to my house and me still being getting ready. Slay, mama. Okay, I'm going to go in with the... Okay, well, not the empty tester. Hee <laughs> hee. This is my second tester of the Charlotte Tilbury. Can they please just, like, put it in stock? But I'm going to go in with this first. I primed my face with moisturizer. So, I'm going to use this. Should I use my beauty blender? I think it has hair in it. Ugh, gross. Is that thunder or someone's car? Oh. You never know. You never know if it's a douchebag or the weather. Probably both. Next, I'm going to go on with this NARS light reflecting foundation. I don't really know if this is my shade or not. I think it's a little bit too light because I got it a few days after I had fake tan. But I fake tan last night, so my tan is darker. But this Charlotte Tilbury stuff is so f***ing good. Like, it's not... What am I trying to say? It's worth the hype. Like, I only got it because I saw everybody on TikTok having it. I was like, I have to try this. And I was like, I bet you it's not even that good. It is so good. Like, the glow is so nice. So I want to try putting this under the foundation. I think I saw someone else on TikTok do this because the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter doesn't have the best amount of coverage. So they're like, if you use that as the base and then just go in with a tiny bit of foundation on top, it creates a good coverage, but then you also get the like shiny, dewy situation. Oh, I don't know if this is true, by the way. This is literally just what I've heard and trying out for the first time now. But I think they're right. Wait, okay, slay. And I think the color's all right. Iconic. I think this is actually pretty good. You know when you try something new and you're like, 
This is like a really risky thing to be doing right now. Well, risks pay off, gals. That's my turning 27 advice to you if you're watching this and you're younger. Risks pay off. And if they don't, they make for a great story. Am I too shiny? I don't know. I can't tell if the shine is giving a nice dewy look or Edward Cullen, for real. Should I have made a Twilight themed cake? I didn't have any bronzer left, so I went in with this like crusty, dusty old Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, like the darkest brown like kind of color, and put it on my cheeks. I mean, it doesn't look awful. Like, could it look better? Yeah. I've had worse. I've had worse. I have had worse makeup looks than this, so yeah. it's fine. I'm just gonna put on setting spray, and call it a day. Okay, guys, I just finished doing my hair and makeup. I'm literally so obsessed with both of them. Cal cut my extensions like you saw last night. And look how good they came out. Like, I'm actually obsessed with the length. I think it just looks really good. I'm really happy about it. And the makeup actually pulled through, which was good considering I started using, like, this old eyeshadow palette on my cheeks. I got a little bit nervous. But now is the moment of truth. Cal also picked up the dress from the alteration shop this morning. Cal has done everything today. He's honestly, like, the MVP right now. Like, he is a true king. But I haven't tried it on yet. I'm kind of scared. Yeah. Like even though I tried it on at the alteration place and she measured it, I'm still like, what if it doesn't fit? But it will. It will fit. It will fit. Okay, let's put this on. Okay, guys, it fits. It fits perfectly. I don't even have to wear a bra. I'm so excited. Okay, yay. So this is the fit. This is the dress. I also have a tiara. I literally wore this to my high school graduation. I feel like it's such a vibe. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, do you know what I also have? I have my birthday sash that I ordered last year that came like two days after my birthday. So I'm gonna go grab that. Okay, this is the sash. It says birthday queen. It's pink with gold writing. I feel like this is so extra and I'm so here for it. Wait, how did I have it on before? I had to put it on to pin it. I think it was this way. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. This is so cool. <laughs> Nate, what are you painting? The Eye of Horus. I'm going to try and paint this. Kyle has sketched it out for me. See how it goes. Look at Hughes. Look at all the detail. Oh my gosh, what is it? Oh my god, I need to put the camera down, but I also want to show everyone. What? Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Featuring the lucky dip. What's the lucky dip? This is so cute. It's got my name on the side of the camera. Follow the instructions. <laughs> Follow the ins Wait. Follow the instructions on the thing on top. Don't touch anything else before you open the top thing. <laughs> the lucky dip, and this says open first. Can I read it out loud? Or the you can read it out loud. Vegetables like we're breaking <laughs> The lucky dip. Step one, empty the contents of this envelope into a hat. Step two, without looking, dip your hand in and choose one 27 club member. Step three, use your chosen member and match them with a gift inside. Please note, there are only four gifts, but eight 27 club members. Choose wisely and most of all, have fun. What? Murder's gonna happen next. I know, is this a murder mystery <laughs> party? <laughs> Could it be the anticlimax if it's one of the ones that's not <laughs> corresponding with Oh, this. by the way, you don't get anything. Yeah. Brian Jones. No. Alright, dip again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. Jimi Hendrix. Is this a Kindle? Cow! What the fuck? fuck? I was talking about this last night. Oh, I know. thank you. I was trying to keep a straight face. I want to give you a hug, by the way. Okay. paint everywhere. Look, fake hug camera. It, hug it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That's yeah. so exciting. Thank you. We can do Anna's gift now. Yes, I want to open it. Oh my god, I love that it's a gold box. I'm pretty sure I've gifted this to Anna, and then Anna's gifted Yeah, the box. I love it. Like, like, sister, what a yeah, it's a traveling gift yeah. box. I love it. Oh, I get so nervous opening gifts. <laughs> oh, what? This is such a good gift. Oh my god, whoa, holy shit. Thank you so much. Olaplex. Oh my god, this is a game changer. Oh, guys. Mm. They can be gonna cry. Aww. But I won't because I spent a long time on this makeup. Yeah. And I had to use my tester that I'm running out of. Thank you so much, guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Ah! Happy birthday, dear Bethany. Oh, Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Okay, yeah. we're all about to do a shot. 
before we go out. And everyone is choosing a shot glass because I bought all these shot glasses when I was like 21 in America. Wait, 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 wait. I need to make a tripod. No, it's the way I'm going to use an espresso martini glass as a tripod. <laughs> if he thinks medicine, I will lose my mind. Three, two, one, ah! fun! Another day, another sleigh.